The human heart is an incredible organ. It begins beating just a few weeks after conception and continues tirelessly, day and night, for the rest of your life. But here's the biological mystery. How can the heart beat continuously without getting tired? Let's explore the science behind this remarkable endurance. First, it's important to understand that the heart is made of a special type of muscle tissue called cardiac muscle. This muscle is involuntary, meaning it works without conscious control, and it's structurally and functionally distinct from the skeletal muscles that move your limbs. Unlike skeletal muscles, which contract forcefully and then need rest, cardiac muscle is optimized for continuous rhythmic contractions. It is built not for speed or strength, but for endurance and reliability. One key reason the heart doesn't tire is its high mitochondrial density. Mitochondria are the organelles responsible for producing adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of the cell. In skeletal muscle, mitochondria may take up about 2-8% to 8 of cell volume. But in cardiac muscle, mitochondria occupy roughly 30-40% to 40 of the cell's volume. This means the heart has an abundant and constant energy supply, allowing it to sustain its contractions with minimal fatigue. Another major factor is the heart's preference for aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration uses oxygen to produce energy from glucose, fatty acids, and lactate. Unlike anaerobic respiration, which leads to the buildup of lactic acid and causes muscle fatigue, aerobic metabolism is clean and efficient, producing much more ATP per molecule of glucose and without harmful byproducts. This is why the heart depends on a constant oxygen supply delivered by the coronary arteries. If this supply is interrupted, even briefly, as in a heart attack, cardiac cells begin to die rapidly. Another fascinating feature is the heart's intrinsic conduction system. The heartbeat is controlled by specialized cardiac cells, not the brain. The sinoatrial SA node, located in the right atrium, acts as the heart's natural pacemaker. It generates electrical impulses that spread across the heart muscle, causing it to contract in a coordinated manner. This system is self-regulating, and the heart can even continue beating temporarily when removed from the body, as long as it has nutrients and oxygen. While the heart works constantly, it does rest, briefly, between beats. A full cardiac cycle takes about 0.8 seconds at a normal resting heart rate. Of that, about 0.4 seconds is diastole, when the heart muscles relax and the chambers refill with blood. This brief relaxation period allows cardiac muscle fibers to recover without stopping the overall function. So while it seems like the heart is always working, it is in fact resting between each beat, thousands of times per day. Despite its endurance, the heart is not invincible. Cardiac muscle cells, known as cardiomyocytes, have limited regenerative capacity. That's why damage from conditions like myocardial infarction or heart attack is often permanent. And prevention is critical. A healthy heart relies on proper blood flow, balanced electrolytes, especially calcium, sodium, and potassium, and regular oxygen delivery. Lifestyle factors such as exercise, diet, and stress management directly impact cardiac health. To sum up, the heart doesn't get tired because of its specialized muscle type, its high energy production from mitochondria, its use of aerobic metabolism, and its ability to rest briefly between beats. It is an incredibly efficient, self-sustaining system designed for lifelong function. So while you rest at night, your heart never sleeps. An amazing example of biological engineering in action.